The sound is actually very special. I, I haven't heard it before. It was described as producing eerie effects and celestial harmony. It's an instrument that somehow plucks a heartstring of me. I can't really describe it. Well, this is the beginning of the mad scene of the Lucia by uh, Gaetano Donizetti, which was composed in um, 1835, originally with glass harmonica. I best use cold still water because it produces the best uh, effect. Mineral water doesn't uh, really work and the, the cold water is just, um, is just perfect because the tone is really strong and it comes out the best and the, the most dynamic is produced with this cold water. The long tubes make the lower notes and the high tubes make the high notes and extra for Lucia so we can get the high be flat in the mad scene. We have this extra set of high glasses which are also tuned to a special note with a diamond grinder at the bottom. You can tune it so they're perfectly in shape. The range of the instrument is from the C, C1, as you would call it, to the B flat. The harmonic part consists of um, two different approaches. You can either play a melody line like this. This is the entry to the cadenza. So you can always play more notes just in one on the instrument. And there's uh, the other bit with more polyphonic music where Lucia actually imagines the wedding between her and Edgardo, how it can never take place. Donizetti searched for a sound that could describe Lucia's madness. I think he was on his way to insanity as well because he ended in an asylum as well. And for this opera, he was searching for an uncanny, crazy sound. And um, it's interesting because it was said, the glass harmonica, when accompanied by a voice, it wouldn't be to tell who's singing and who's playing the glass harmonica. So this is really similar and it just accompanies Lucia on her way into, into madness. This instrument is, is the right choice for that. <laughs>